Hello, this is Wesley Fryer with Moving at the Speed of Creativity and Technology for Teachers. And in this screencast, I'm going to explain how you can create a new account on the website VoiceThread. You're going to go to the website VoiceThread.com, and in the upper right corner, you're going to see a link that says Sign In or Register, and you're going to click that account. Since you're setting up a new account, you're going to need to click down here where it says Not Registered Yet, Register, and it is going to open up a window to let you register but if you are an educator you are not going to want to sign up on this page you're going to want to look at one more link which is in the bottom right corner and it says educator click here and you're going to click that link this is going to open up a page that is going to show you pricing for your account if you are an educator and if you would like to have um, a class subscription and that's going to have some advantages for you that you're not going to be able to have with just a regular free account but what we're going to do here is apply for a free educator account and you can see that it's going to allow us to have all of those different features so we're going to click apply here and this is going to be the screen that we're going to want to complete to apply for our VoiceThread account once this loads up, we're going to be entering our email address and some other information. And so we're going to go over here and click on register. And we're going to be putting in our name. So I'm going to put in my name and I've created a special email account that I'm going to use for this. I'm going to put in twice. You're going to put in a password that you're going to enter twice. And then you're going to need to enter a CAPTCHA, which is going to prove that you are indeed a human being and not a computer trying to register for this account. Before you receive your free VoiceThread account, you are going to need to provide this information. And so you're going to put this in. And if you are not um, a current educator, you are going to need to probably just get a regular VoiceThread account because this is designated for active educators. Uh, let's see, I guess I'm going to, what am I going to say here? 13 plus. University of Central Oklahoma. And I guess I should grab that information. Let me copy that really quick. All right, so I have completed all this information and note that I'm using my school email account down here at the bottom and I'm going to go ahead and click the submit key to receive my uh, educator application. Now I'm going to need to check my email and I will be clicking on a link that was sent to my school email address to complete this process. As it says, I'm also going to want to check my spam or junk mail folder because it might be directed there by my email account. After you check your email and you copy and paste and go to the link which is provided in your email, you should see a message like this that says you have successfully upgraded to your VoiceThread educator account on VoiceThread.com. Now when you return to the VoiceThread website, you uh, will be able to uh, use all the features of your account and you should be able to go ahead and click on the create button and that will allow you to go ahead and create a voice thread which we're going to talk about next in our next screencast so remember that these steps are available for current educators and if you're not a current educator then you will simply use the uh, regular voice thread account which you will see when you visit the website um, and that was just the initial sign up screen um, that you saw. So that's just going to be clicking sign in here, clicking register, and you're going to fill out this information. But if you are, are an educator, it really is a great thing to apply for the educator account because you will get additional privileges that you can utilize as an educator on the VoiceThread site.